Alright, hey guys, my name is Virus and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the Tiger 2H. Now, in my last video that I uploaded on the Leopard 2A4, I left a pinned comment in the comments section that uh, basically asked what vi uh, vehicles you guys wanted me to play out next because, you know, it's more fun if I'm doing it for you guys instead of just playing what I want, I find, which, which is strange, but you know. So today we're going to be taking out the Tiger 2H because that was the first one I saw and there were a couple likes on the comments um, and it was said a couple times. So yeah, Tiger 2H and I'm also trying to get the T72B uh, requested, uh, well access to it, but you, you get what I mean. Uh, so hopefully that'll be coming along down the pipeline if uh, that's accepted and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't really need to go over the Tiger 2H uh, at all. Uh, I actually have a video on it somewhere in my channel uh, that I've uploaded previously and I'm pro I probably go over the stats and that thing but yeah today I just want to hop straight into the gameplay because that's what you guys all came for so without further ado let's go you know I'm starting to think you guys are all like wearaboos or whatever they're called because even after I play something like the leopard you're all like tiger 2 tiger 2 you know what I see what's going on here I get it tiger 2 age you know it's it's one of those classic tanks that I think has sort of been affected by power creep in a way. Um, I don't really remember what this was like way, way back when, uh, you know, before all these heat rounds started coming out and stuff like that. But for the most part, I, I'm sure this thing was actually pretty good, like really strong. Not pretty good, because it's pretty good now. I mean, you got a great gun on a decently armored chassis, considering... Like, if you get into a down tier on this thing, like, it, you are quite dominant. And it just, it seems like that's how it is for a lot of tanks these days, where it's 100% dependent on, uh, what PR you get placed at. Because 7.7s just melt through this thing. Like, uh, the Sabo that, uh, Brits get, even, well, I mean, even the 6.7 Sabo melts through this, but... Uh, what else? We got heat from, like, all sorts of things now. I can't even list them all. But it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I still think this is a good tank. I just definitely think it's past its prime. And we're not angled against this, uh, Carnarvon, was it? I don't even think we're going to be able to pen him. I do not trust myself here. Uh, it looks like a... No, it was a Canarvin. Okay. Oh, we got someone else. T29. That is going to be a tough nut to crack. Alright. Thank God. Uh, who caps C? I wonder if my teammates actually dealt with the guy. I'm seeing smoke grenades popped on B? Yeah, there, there we go. I really hope I don't get revenge bombed here. That would really ruin my day. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised that penned. I didn't know if he overangled his turret enough, but I took the shot and it kind of worked out there. I, I'm really curious as to who's on B. They're still popping smoke grenades. I think we'll just mosey on up here. Try and get a little bit closer. Can I machine gun this down? No. Uh, what do we got? Is that smoke going to clear, actually? Hold on. Oh my god, they're still popping smokes. Can I identify what's on B here? Oh, be hot? Oh? Nah. Nah, I don't like this. He's got me tripped out now. He called out above on the hill and I... I don't hear anyone. Oh. Ah, 
that was poor. I, I wonder if he'll uh, react. There we go. I can hear one up there. Okay, we got him. I wonder if we could just sort of sneak our way underneath them. Is that somebody behind us up there? I don't know how I spotted this guy. What is that? Don't spawn camp. Okay. Let's resume our original plan and try and help this guy out here. Try and push up. Oh, we got a... Another guy here. Okay. I think that no, jet did not track him. That was his machine gun, right? Yeah. Um... I, we're in a real, yeah, I, I knew it, I knew it. Behind, behind. See if we can pop smoke, maybe. We're gonna have to angle ourselves so that we can get up. Well, we might be visible from their spawn, like, really visible, but. We need to repair our breach. Well, let's turn our turret around. Nope, never mind. T-92's coming up. Nice, two six eight got him. There we go. I don't really want to spawn camp these guys, but at the same time, I'm in a position where it's like necessary for my survival to get out of here. So we're gonna we're gonna have to shoot that guy. God, I think he hit my gunner. Is that my gunner here? That's red. It must be. So slow now. Yeah, okay, the 268's going for B. <laughs> That's it, I'm getting me mallet. That is one of my favorite quotes of all time. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try and cover that guy. If we kill the guy that's in their spawn, he might blow up. Wow, the P-47 messed that up. This guy needs to die, and then we're going to push up onto the hill. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. What is that? Okay. Your friend needs to peek now, please. I, I can't move. I'm kind of forced to do this in a sense. Well, I mean, we are capping A now. Okay, that's 268. Scared me. Um. I can't do anything about that. Loader? That ain't what we want. But I think we might out-reload him now. Commander. I probably should have shot his gun there. And say hello to my M48. Yeah. Well, that was a guy on A, so we'll turn back around because I don't want to die. Damn. Nine kills. Not bad. Not bad at all. What are we going to get? What's the reward for something like this? 8k. Is that good or bad for 9 kills and living through the whole battle? I feel like that's a bit lower than I would want. Huh. Oh, that actually kind of looked like it was close. But I was on the move, so... I want to get into a position where they're coming to me. So that, uh, 
I can kind of like set up in a way because this is a full down tier or up tier, full up tier. We're fighting against seven seven, so I'm a bit concerned. All right, we got that guy. There's just one big moving bush essentially. Uh, maybe we can actually try an angle a little bit instead of playing like a like a dummy. Yeah, we're not gonna get in his way. But basically, we can lock down this uh, corridor here, if you want to call it that. We got support up on the hill behind us. Let's I, see. I just don't trust to our right. Like, on the other side of the river. So let's just keep on moving. Okay. That looks like it could be... Well, it's definitely Russian. Perhaps a T-54. What do we got up here? Let's just shoot at it. I miss it? Huh. Maybe it's... Maybe it's nothing? No, that is something. I was gonna say, what? Maybe I just... I was definitely missing it, but... Holy. What do we got here? It's so washed out on my screen, I can hardly see because of the way the sun is. I just took a panic shot because I saw a tank. We now have... Oh, that was lucky, okay. So there's a T-44 behind him. He's gonna push out this way. No, he's dead. Nice. Good support. Huge. That was really lucky that the IS-6 pushed like that. It's completely side on, because I would have had to aim for the breach, I think. That's all I would have been able to do to that guy, basically. What do I, uh... Okay. <laughs> I mean... If he's just going to do that, that's fine. That's a scary guy as well. The hell is our team? I'm like, not in the best of positions, but... It's kind of working, actually. We're already up to four kills. We got someone else. Pardon? I'm, I think we just hit on the inside of whatever, like, metal plating separated the engine from the, uh, hull. Luckily he smoked though, otherwise I think we would have been dead there. Oh no, are we gonna get bombed? We might die to a revenge bomb here. I wonder... Oh no! Damn, I was gonna try and get... I think we would have been able to pen that guy's... Um... Right into his road wheel. I'm not very good at taking out planes with this thing, so... Two crits. Just my luck. We gotta try and get home. Let's not even try. 
Well, that kind of sucks. Is he going to try and come in for me? He definitely is. Oh, is he going down too? Or is he just flying low to the deck? No, he went down too. Woo, okay. Never mind. I guess the uh, 50 millimeter AP does wonders to planes as well. Well, let's go back and land, I guess, and repair the... Oh, I don't even know if I can land this. Okay, we saw where that guy died from. Let's try and get him. What do we... It's an IS-2, okay. Oh, wow. We <laughs> hit his ammo rack. Is there anybody else? That needs a paddling. Oh, that was a mistake. SC-122-54. Can we get them before the game ends? We're going to start shooting now just in case. Nah. No. We got him in the end, but it doesn't count. Damn. That was a pretty good game. We didn't do too much, but it was a full, uh, full up tier, and we met some pretty scary tanks. And a nice, crisp, clean 7k RP. Not bad. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, Tiger 2, as always, a pretty solid tank. I think it's safe to say that 6.7 is one of the best tiers, if not the best tier in this game, to play. I mean, you got, what, Britain 6.7 is uh, just amazing. Uh, America, you've got, like, T-34. Um, actually, what, what, what does America have? Maybe, maybe not America so much. You got a lot of light tanks, but yeah, I think, I think it's safe to say that 6-7 is just a perfect tier to play if you just want to have fun. Uh, I certainly go back from time to time to play the Yag Tiger and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.